Hey everybody, we just started podcasts. I'm Kai, but I kind of go by Sheik. We have Andrew here, Hi. but he goes by like Gusty Point. <laughs> and then it's we have Eddie, who goes by Blue and Fast Ed. And honestly, we don't know what to do because we kind of just started right now. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie kind of came to us with the immediate, let's start a podcast, so... And we are the three shonens, <laughs> which is the three lear- learning. I'm sorry, oh, the learning shonens, which is the learning boys. Because we're in this podcast, we are talking about things of what we learn and just what we think. Mm. And so, got anything? Sweetie, you have a spot. I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> well, I've had a really interesting week besides maybe doing comedy at Open Mic Night. How was that? Uh, it was very interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah. It got very insect well, It, oh, got, it got insect filled after I was done. Everyone started talking about cockroaches, and then I started talking about how I'm attracted to very, like, very strong women. Okay. To where if it's Ronda Rousey or just someone with a strong spirit, it could work. Yeah, now I got the mental image of him and Ronda Rousey together. It's interesting. Very interesting, yes. <laughs> um, also, um... For those that uh, I haven't been posting my comedy videos lately because this month I've been in class for Tuesday and Thursday. But yeah. next week I'll probably come back and this will probably be like an extra to my channel or whatever. Yeah. Just telling like people <laughs> what, what happens. Like I haven't been missing guys. I'm still active on Twitter, He's Facebook, and Instagram, but I don't really even use that often. Yeah, he <laughs> never he never leaves. You definitely have a more online presence than I ever do. I think really? we both do because I think we're like we're the only two who actually are on our like, like social media ever. I barely post on Twitter. The last thing I posted on Twitter was probably my Mario Maker level code. Uh, when was that? Like a week or so ago. About a week ago. YouTube. Last time I uploaded on that was probably over a year ago now. That's the same time, like, um, because the last time, uh, YouTube history, I've actually started YouTube in, uh, 2009 and Mm. 11 and 13, and the thing was, it got removed, because the videos I would do, I would mix a lot of edit and edit stuff, and it just, like, in this one, like, the recent one that I did from last year, um, is it okay if I tell you guys a tale on how I got started with this one? Yeah, sure. Okay, so... Originally, like, also from one of the videos I made that's called How I Got Started, um, an anniversary video, Tony, which, you, uh, in case you guys know, it's uh, Su Young, yeah. um, wanted me to do a video of him opening his stuff from Korea, and I'm like, I got nothing to lose, and that's when it became a daily thing to kind of do a little bit like these vlogs, and the thing was, I had this one video that I post was a documentary, and that's how that channel got shut down. And even though, like, I didn't do anything to the point, it was, like, music stuff. So, um... It might have been the music. Yeah. Like, you might have had a clap right claim on the music. That's oh, yeah. exactly what that's it was. Definitely. And so, on October, that's when... Well, September, October, that's when I made another video talking about the Halloween experience that I had. And uh, thankfully, I'm, ba- I'm still back in the game. And I'm back on track. And everybody still remembers me. <laughs> Like, even though, like, I know a lot of our, like, people don't even know, like, they follow us, but they don't even know what we sound like and all that. For that the most is part. very true. I guess so, because I don't really post anything that consists of my voice in it. Yeah. Okay. If I do post something, it's probably, like, typical, like, jokes or something about mm. whatever goes on. It's like, hey, is anyone in the film a basic asshole? And then it's like the comments can be like, serious answer, only people who probably do everything else. Right. It's like, yeah, oh, that's okay, that's right. something. Anything else happen uh, this week that you want to share with us? Well, I do realize I say a lot of dumb stuff out of my mouth, so I'm trying to work on that and my phrasing. Again, like, mm-hmm. here, we are in a no-holds bar. Yeah. Like, this is, like, the point where we're not owned by anybody, and, like, all we have to literally do is just, and yes, we're putting this on, <laughs> it's just an age restriction. That's all we literally got. It has to be, basically. Like, maybe 18 and up conversations, so yeah. like, if you're... If you're like the watch age out. of like, I don't know, 17 or yeah. maybe 15, uh, your parents might hate us. Right. Yeah. 
That I've, I've had, I've had parents who happen. like who can look at me and like when they curse, they'll look at me and like, please don't curse. My child is around, and I'm like, I don't care. Like I'll be honest, I've been trying to cut down on the cursing in public. <laughs> like, it's impossible for me to cut down on the yeah. cursing in public unless there's children around, like, and I at least try. I, right. That's what I'm saying. Like yesterday, I went to the store and I said, like I have shit to do, and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, maybe I shouldn't say that because there's actually children here. Oh, <laughs> I got so stuff. I'm like, huh. with, with the amount of times kids are on Fortnite, I don't think parents care anymore. Huh. <laughs> I mean, that's what I remember uh, True, Call of Duty. Still. Those kids grow up. Devil are misreference. Like, I feel like I still have to make an effort about it or something. Who, who, who knows anymore? Cause I think I think I'm just getting to that situation where I wasn't ready for a relationship. Now I'm just getting on that bandwagon. Mm. But mm. I'm like, hey, I might want I might want to stop saying something weird because it's turning people off and mm. see to like it's even for people to tune me the heck out. Yeah. Um. um wait. True. Is it? Is there any? But no. no. I was just, just like, no. no this is I don't know what I'm looking at now. I'm just okay. Like, I just started getting on the bandwagon and I'm like, hey, I'm not like I'm not gonna try anything because this is. Our apartment, so it gets crazy after a while. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, that's it. And yeah. okay, so um, last month, what I've been doing lately was um, last month during the um, uh, let's, keep, let's keep going. It's just a tour. Uh, last thing I've been we doing, doing in, uh, the, in our study room that's yeah. in our apartment complex. So a tour was happening. We have windows like. Right here. Yeah. So we could like. I know you guys can't right. see them, but we're just sitting in front of windows. Right I mean, now. it does provide pretty nice natural lighting. <laughs> to be fair, I think so at this point. <laughs> so anyway, um, last month there was a um, I was watching a podcast and the Korea uh, this Korean rapper named Dumbfounded, and uh, one of the podcasts he had a dude named Danny from the K-pop group or K-rap group one time and um he was talking about uh the the director i'm not the director the producer of them yang uh was also in a boy group called seo taji and they were like the ones that upgraded of what boy bands of k-pop should be because they broke edge and stuff like that Mm -hmm. and um one of it it was like why this was like pre yg entertainment yeah and um YG Entertainment. So one of the stuff he did, he made a group for a little bit that's called Keep Six. And when I looked at the video, there was a channel that had the official video, and it's the dude who directed it. And his name is Hong Jung Ho. And a lot of things he directed from 95 to 2005 from SM Entertainment and YG Entertainment. It was just like, YG, back in the day, it had a lot of rap stuff. It, it's yeah. a whole lot different than what it was now. And the other sad news for YAG Entertainment that I don't understand is everybody's leaving. And I'm like, what is going What What did everybody do? Like, then, like, first off, it was like Siri from Big Bang, G Dragon, and them. He got into a scandal problem. And then just one by one, everybody started leaving. I'm like, what is happening? What is going on? And so. Damn. The dude Hung Jung Ho who directed all this stuff, like we talked about like like I've said like um what's your favorite places to go to? He told me Switzerland and the first American video uh, well, I'm sorry, not American. First video he shot in America was uh the group Genu Shan and it was gasoline and they shoot it in Los Angeles. That was and this was the the ninety seven, which was the year I was born. He, Andrew right here, he was born two years before I was, and this, the main leader right here, <laughs> two years after, but it's been 20 years, and yeah, this I'm a, man... I'm a Y2K baby, baby people, so... We're all literally 90s babies, like, all of us are 90s, I, by the time the 90s were over, like, uh, 90s. um, four, two, and just here. Just, you, you were just <laughs> I'm just Y2K. You were just You were just, you were just here. But then again, it's like, but, um, um... Uh, uh, Ugu Bugu, my little sister, in case you guys don't know, she was what, like the first one of the first Millennium Child. Now, I'm not gonna yeah. say probably I like say the, the first I because it's like, 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 were you born January the first? Yeah, like 842. Not or that like that. She, she was born in January the 29th. If, if oh, you want to be early. like 
precise. We can go like 842 child born in the millennia. Right. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> like, talking to him, like, it was a lot of fun because I've learned a lot. And the things he does, um, have, that's okay. Have you guys You're seen, uh, you guys know, well, you guys know the director, Hype Williams, right? Uh, I believe I do. Sort of? He directs, like, a lot of rap music videos and just other music videos. Like, so it, all his styles, especially this dude's, like, yeah. he is close up. Like, it's, like, close up to the camera where it's, like, Yo, are they gonna eat the camera? Like one of the videos that you feel like you're gonna see the microscopic skin cells of the person controlling the camera. Right, like a lot of like the videos, it's like up in your face, like up in your face. Like this is like if I put this hat, that that's his directing. That's his directing. <laughs> Isn't right that there. like most hip hop music? It's like super all up in your face. It and is just showing yeah, you the ass. I guess he well, was the one that yeah, started probably. it all for that. And for um Hong Jong Ho's videos, they're always different from each other because you know not only he works in different genres of the k-pop community and to the point where he actually directed one of the guys like Seo chaji's video which was come back home which is huge in their community and i was i remember commenting and say like yo i knew you were a legend but this you are a legend in the k-pop community <laughs> if you were there at that point in time and especially i think one of the videos he did, it won the MTV Awards 20 years back. And I remember asking him, it's like, were you there at the moment? And he said he was. And two other projects with the same guys, H.O.T., High Five of Teenagers. And they talk, like, they talk about heavy stuff. Like, this was like, this is what I wanted boy bands to be. Where it's like, man, I just want you guys to look cute and talk about heavy stuff. And uh, <laughs> and so on um, during that same day he shot oh wait not same day it was different weeks but they were still in New York shooting two music videos for these dudes yeah two music videos which was get it up and uh, hey kids and uh, one of the things I asked was like well who's your favorite artist that you like to direct mm -hmm. and it was um, Clone. And these guys, he's really in electronic music. That's what it would tell me. It's like, he is big in electronic music. And when I was talking to him, it's like, how do you know what I'm saying? He's translating my comments. He's translating. And he, certain videos he makes, he talks about, okay, this is how, like, you could, because a lot of his videos, he's talking about the higher quality. And it's like, hmm. that's what it is. And, like, um, I think, I'm trying to think my I'm trying to think my favorite, that, that was probably my favorite question was asked. It was like, how do you know what I'm saying? It's like, well, I translate your stuff. And so that's the story of this dude. And also last week I came home and had a good time as well. Why he, he cleaned up my bed. Yeah, I have <laughs> um, apparently no notification for anyone watching. I have OCD, I think, mm -hmm. to where I just clean everything up because I don't like anything dirty because it's just a weird thing. Yeah. Usually it's just people will tell you, oh, you're just like clean things. It's like, no, I will thoroughly clean something and organize yeah. it. Like, it's crazy. Like, um, and I even shared it for Facebook and Twitter. It's just like, I put like, I'm home. I really am home. <laughs> this feels like my mom and dad just cleaned the room. <laughs> I'm not surprised like... I didn't like post it on like maybe Facebook or something mm -hmm. and be like, wow, I pretty much am crazy right now because I've been cleaning this thing nonstop. No, mm -hmm. it's like, I... Well, besides that, like, regardless, I gave you a present, which is, like, there's two candies, and the Spider-Man, I, I never I never thought they would ever do this again. It was, like, a Spider-Man sticker that came from a cereal box, and it's like, uh, they still do this? Oh, yeah, I did, oh, yeah. I did see Farm for Home, but like, I'm not going to put any spoilers on here, just in case no one has seen it, but if you haven't seen it, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> I know, like, a lot of, um, uh, one thing for sure is that, you know, I don't know, I I know how we would fit in if we went 20 years back, but I don't know how, like, what, what, I'm just like, what would we even do? I, I was just like, what would we even do if we were 20 years back? I mean, we live, like, 99, like, it's like, the world is almost the 2000, like, would we be worried, or would like, we? I feel like everyone would be worried, because Y2K happened. 
and everyone would just yeah. be getting like a buttload of toilet paper and food <laughs> and <laughs> trying to get into their bunkers. Yeah, that sounds about right. It sounds <laughs> pretty accurate to where right Y two K happens. You see it on like most cartoons, like oh, what would Y two K be like if it happens? And you see it on like Family Guy, and it's just yeah, it's like, like, Fallout seventy six. It's well, nothing's happened, right? Um, and I think the most other interesting thing I've been learning this week was uh, mythology. Oh, my. The stories I told uh, you two, mm, for those one? you guys, um, I told uh, them the story about, like, humans were made out of tortillas. Yes. And uh, the other thing <laughs> was, is uh, the Yoruba, the African story of how land was made. It's like, yeah. why do I have, like, I have all these things that can make land, which is the hen, mm-hmm. the sand, the gold, so he can lower himself. Because it was just water at one point and he's just like let's make land and hmm. um the thing was is just why do i have a cat and then and the gods answer back so like oh, we're gonna be lonely so it, be i feel lonely. i feel like with the tortilla thing I, I feel like in a way if somebody was to make a racist joke it's like you look like a taco <laughs> and it feel and if you just tell them that it doesn't it doesn't seem racist when you look at it in that standpoint of all of us are made of tortilla yeah, shells <laughs> yeah <laughs> and um, so I honestly, I just can't, can't, I honestly can't wait to just go back just to learn more about it because the thing we learned yesterday, it was insane. It was just like the story of like the other goddess and goddesses, like one part of the story. So this is why for this we're gonna have an age, uh, <laughs> age restriction. Oh, no, so we might have to, we might have to go a certain level depending uh, on how much our conversations like go into the topic of anything. Cause right. uh, uh, we should gotta lay some ground rules, but I'll put that in a separate video. Yeah, okay. Do that. So um, you again, this is a demo. Anyway, so. This guy, the way he created humans, there was like so many ways he sneezed, he cried, he um, and one of the stories, one of the stories in a language is that he, he masturbated to make uh, humans appear. Are you serious? I'm not joking. Like that's literally the story where it's like he did. did he have a? There's a did shadow. He have, did he have something? Mean, did he have God Hub? God God Hub. Did he have yes. did he have something called God Hub where he would just look at <laughs> the goddesses? And then it's like humans pop out like, oh god! No. It's like oh, no. oh boy. I, 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 I gotta release myself. Where's God Hub? Well, I guess and, we found out where Zeus came from. Uh, <laughs> so I think that I think we have our I think we have our answer of where the gods came from. Uh, god much. watched God Hub and then boom, other god popped up. <laughs> <laughs> And so later in the story, it came to the point where um, not it's not the same person. It was a, a different story where we uh, learned uh, what type of roles God and goddesses play. And mm-hmm. one of them like was a trickster, which really he was a dick. It's just um, if it was Loki, then uh, sign, sign me up. I'll, I'll be Loki for a day. So his name was. It's ironic his name because I've had a one person change. I had a few. I ran into friends that are named Seth, mm. but that the other Seth I'm thinking about, he changed the legally changed his name because yeah. he went to a different family. I, you know what? Because I remember calling him the other name, and now I can't remember his other first oh, name. Oh, I hate Hell that no. feeling. Or it's like, people have like two first names, but then uh-huh. you try to get to the first one, and then yeah. you immediately forget the second one. Right. So Seth, um, the thing he would do is like one of tricky play. He, yeah, he killed, like, his older brother and, like, made, like, this cool casket where it's just, like, he hyped him up to be, like... So, they had a party where it's just, like... Because they were really in... They were into... Uh, because they're got... There was, like, the Egypt, Egyptian history at this point. The mm-hmm. Greek Egyptians. Uh... And so, um... They were really into coffins. They really love coffins. Oh, and yeah. They love like what you can bring to the. House. I just imagine just like, one person wakes up. It's like, where's all my stuff? It's like, did anybody tell you, you can't bring anything once you die? You, you yeah, know? that is definitely an Egyptian. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's definitely that's an Egyptian. Egyptian. Concept, that's definitely um, Egyptian. I think I don't know why, but my concept of death since I've watched this anime called Death Parade, my concept of death has been. Since if, if it's two of you in a situation of where you die, mm-hmm. they pretty much put you in a set of like a certain game where it's either bowling oh, or poker or oh god, I don't know darts, uh, and they like yeah. put you in a set to where 
if you hit a certain like if you hit like a certain amount of points or mm-hmm. if it's like you hit a certain amount of something, then like the flashback comes up and yeah. you figure out how you die and right. they're like, Oh, oh you've God. learned from that. This is where you go. I would hate going. So it's like it's like, it's like a fun way, it's like a fun way of purgatory. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> to where it's like it's not the purgatory where they're just showing you a list of everything mm-hmm. you've done and then they just send you to heaven or hell. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's pretty much of depending on how you do in this certain set, then uh, this is where you go. Because I think one episode, mm. spoilers for anyone who hasn't watched this episode, it was this dude and this chick. Yeah, they're playing like something. It's kind of like Twister. It's kind of no. It's, <laughs> is that that episode? <laughs> oh no, it's kind of like Street Fighter. Okay. Oh, oh I've seen that. It's, I know it's kind of like they're playing the arcade version of Street Fighter, and the, the dude uh, is like beating the crap out of this chick. In Street and Fighter. the uh, chick is like a reality star. She's like a reality star, so uh, her whole history is like she's been in a abusive relationship, and she started having sex when she was like a teenager or something. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like the cycle goes on, and she has an abusive relationship. Yeah. And then the other dude is like, he committed suicide or something. Mm, right. But his, like, relationship, like, his um, life was kind of like crap because yeah. his mom died. Right. Yeah. And then he had a whole stepmom and everything. And he was like, oh, I don't see her as my mom, but at least she's trying. But, and then yeah. he just pulls on, jumps out. Yeah, I know. And I was just like, you didn't even give your stepmom a chance. That's what mm-hmm. I was thinking. It's like, wow. It's like, yeah. I was, and it's like, I was like, this situation is like something I see. But when you see it on the internet, it's kind of just like full on prattling, but you never full like you never see the full story of it on yeah, someone's right. end. But then if you try to ask them, they're like, "Oh no, I don't, want, I don't want to talk about it." But then they're like, "Oh no," it's like they're like, "I don't want to talk about it." And then when you try to talk to them, it's already too late. They've already driven off the edge. Right. And um, mm-hmm. the way the uh reality start a little little spoiler is uh, uh the person that was working for uh. You know, she slapped her, and it's like, she just killed her. It's like, you're going to die today! I'm ready to offer you sex for mercy! <laughs> and I beg for mercy! Uh, I, was, I was pretty much like, um, oh, okay, so you were pretty much an a-hole, and you took the consequences yeah. of death. And that's literally how it went. Mm. And, um, so, what happens in the story, back to the story of Egyptians, is where... This dude, Seth, he measures this guy. I think it's his, it's his older. It is his older friend, and that and like he was jealous and all that. It's like how come he like he's the he's the goddess of destruction. Well, the guy that's making the coffee. So he's yeah, the guy. So he's a, a purple cat. So is this Dragon Super? Is he a purple cat oh, that could literally for... like kill me with one hand? Sure. I guess I don't. Sure, know. I'll just go with that. So Whatever. um, the and the older brother is known for peace and love, and yeah. so. Uh, the thing he started doing for his older brother is make him a casket, and what he did was just like, I think it was just, a, I forgot if, I don't think it was their birthday. I don't think it was nobody's birthday. It was just a random, normal day. It's like, I want we celebrate and all try to get in this coffin, and we're going to play make a game out of this. And so, everybody got in. No one could really fit, except for his older brother. And then his older brother, as soon as he says, like, um... Wow, this was and and the thing was it's just like they thought it's like is this a coffin for you? It's like no, it's it's not a coffin for me. And he made it like so beautiful. Mm. And so when his older brother got in and just say, wow, this this is totally comfortable. It's just like it was made for me. As soon as he said that, seventy six other people I don't know where just lost them in and just basically put a bunch of stuff where he can't breathe and he just dies in the box. So, wow. Just immediately just be like, yes, it's worth me just for you. And, and, oh, and, and we thought uh, modern day America was messed up. Oh my god, imagine if that happened. In- <laughs> imagine if that happened in modern day, day America. I think you would like, get the death penalty because apparently in, in like somewhere in Ohio Four counts of murder equivalents to the death penalty. Right. And I'm just like, oh, okay. And this you is made from a Punisher, call- so I don't know if it's true. Mm. <laughs> Four counts of murder apparently equivalents to the death penalty mm. down there. And I'm like, oh, okay. I don't want to know if it's, what it's like like you're down using Texas. down there, yet we're in the southernmost state. <laughs> I feel like in the southern states, you like the, the counts of maybe like something else is the equivalent of like... Because if I already know, if you do something stupid, right? Yeah. Just like Prince is probably gonna uh, atone you for that, but unless it's like something like a child molestation or rape, then right. you're like, oh no, you're not going from that. Yeah. Yeah, you're pretty much screwed just the minute you get into prison. So pretty the much. other thing was is by the time this happened, the uh, wife was 
on another journey, on a journey to try to find him. And at that point, when he like she turned into a bird and reveals herself, I remember my science, the not my science teacher, uh, my mythology teacher was just like, after all that, like, were well, you just gonna say no and just be like, yeah, you can't have your husband back? It's like uh, after all that, uh, it's like she after all that, she doesn't get her nights. husband back. She just turns into a bird. But it's mm-hmm. like she actually had to get her husband back because, like, the thing was is that if you're not within the regions of the family, you don't die correctly. And uh, the, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. And so um, the other story I wanted to share was um, Seth again. Uh, this one other dude, and it was just like the thing he had an idea for is just back in the day when you make a campfire, there was no other lights. That was just it. Like that was like the campfire, and that was it. So one day he had an idea where um because he and another dude they would always get in the fight and the other dude's mother would always save his life and so one i know one fight it was like the mother saved like to a point where she saw it was coming so that's why she just had another head which was a cow and so when the son attempted to cut her head off she just turned into a statue the head is still cut off but she still survived it just had a cow head instead and so once this dude had a plan where he was going to have sex with the other dude in the ass. Because oh, the no. thing was, is oh, that if oh, you no. do that, you own that person. Back in the day, if you did that, you own that person. You physically own uh, that so person. So it's kind of like the Bible days of if, if, <laughs> if, the, if like the person who was raped... And they um they just stuck with that person that for sounds, like that sounds that's about so, right. that sounds like stuff like the Bible would make up. Yes. That sounds like things that would happen in ancient times. Yeah, yeah it's it's just, and, because yeah. there's no way you can like say this guy raped me, he needs to die because yeah. it's like everyone used to freaking do that. Yeah. So um when that happens, the other dude he knows it's coming. So mm. he wasn't having sex with his butt; mm. it was his hands. And so, then so instead of an act, instead of anal, he gave him a hand job. And yeah, and then so when are you serious? <laughs> so when the next thing came and uh, he chopped like uh, his mom chopped his hand off. It's okay because they're like starfish; they can just grow one immediately back. And so um, so he had an idea where basically um, the thing about Seth is he loves salad. Doesn't anyone want mm-hmm. salad? So yeah. what he did with his salad garden <laughs> is just just all over it, and that's where oh. the joke Caesar salad came from. And so I don't want to eat a Caesar salad. I've never eaten Caesar salad, but now I don't want to eat Caesar salad. <laughs> salad. Wow, you're, you're not, not just I've, that. I've never eaten Caesar salad, but now I don't, don't want to eat, eat it at all. All because of this. <laughs> all because of that story. Wow. And so right. um, when they came to court. So the thing, what happens is um, when they all came to court and just like, because if it's like, okay, if one of us is going down, we're all going down. So Seth was going to come up. I think that's the mentality for anything at this point. Probably. So when they went to God's court, their their court, Seth was like, well, why sabotage this person? And it's like, oh, yeah, find the thing. The hand is long gone. So the hand is already in the sea. And the thing is, it's like, wait. It's not coming, and it's a hand. Mm. So when it was his turn, they actually summon it. It's like, where was the steaming coming from? So um, when it was his turn, and he ate the Caesar salad, um, they even had a choice on where it would come out. My thought was, like, it's going to come out the stomach. But instead, came out of the ears and... Their jizziness was gold. Like everything is just like gold to them, huh. especially meat. And then, and uh, another story was how tigers were made to have like claws and stuff is because a guy, um, the jaguar saved this dude's life and talks and um, gave him a home and showed him what cooked meat is like because they just ate raw. And so it's like, well, since I saved you, you have to promise me that you won't steal. My uh, my bow and arrow, and take my meat. Yeah. <laughs> so he didn't keep that promise because he was pressured. And to be honest, I actually would have told him to be like, "Hey, I don't think this is a good idea for me to 
take the cook me home. Mm-hmm. I feel like I should just leave that here with you. I know you saved my life and everything, but mm-hmm. listen, they're going to ask questions. I'm not yeah. good at keeping secrets. <laughs> <laughs> we got a guy here asking a lot of questions. Yeah. And um, so that's how the jaguar grows the teeth and caught to kill the person who spread it. It's like, I believe that person's long gone, and now that tiger's like, Imagine a tiger living that long. It's like, where is he? Where, where is the guy that spread his lies about me? Where oh, is he? No. Where no. is he? That's a tiger I wouldn't want hunting me down. That's, that's, a tiger I, sure. I, I, that's a tiger I would just be like, please don't leave me alone. <laughs> oh, God. Don't talk. I won't even open a door. I'll like, stay please. in my house and do everything all Like, time. please. Any other tiger would do. Just not this one. Please. If I, if I got to jump out my window, I will. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I mean... It's like this mythology. It's like I remember when a lot, especially my first roommate that I lived with, uh, Tucker. He was in gaming. Yeah. He also told me that he was taking this class as well, and he told me like the stories were gonna be crazy, and I believed him. It was just it was like, wow, this is just making me. Uh, it just kept me. It's one of those things. It's like this is what I think at night. It's like um, the thing. Uh, this brown character in japan from nhk which we you have the access to nhk news well nhk anything i think you that's the one thing you've been talking about <laughs> since we've been roommates and i've gotten a cable over <laughs> it's nhk and i'm just like oh okay that's so is he's a brown monster wait why why did there was a reason why I mentioned the round monster domo. There's a reason. Oh, right, because his book he released was uh, it was like one of the things he would think at night, and one of his like, how do you say his name in French? Where did the balloon go? And uh-huh. my favorite one is when he said, "I don't cook, so why did the bear tell me that I would be a good meal?" He's gonna eat you, fun. Oh, <laughs> He's gonna wow. eat you. Oh, oh, oh no. no. He, he, he I- lost- <laughs> I, it's like, I, do you want to tell them or should I? Should you tell the brown <laughs> monster? not tell anyone. That's that's something you got to figure out. Mm. Brown monster, Domo. Um, there's a reason why he told you that because uh, he's a bear. Yeah, that person's a bear. He's a bear. They're yeah. all living animals, and um, it's funny. Like Domo. Speaking of like mythology, the Domo sapiens. They just like imagine a lot of like during the dinosaur age, and they're like. Just brown monsters with mouth very wide open, and they're just... Now there's just one. There's just one that exists, and he's only in Japan. And so the way they got killed off was, surprisingly enough, not the meteors. No, it mm. was uh, apples. And that is why uh, they uh, the original Domo, he does not... Well, that's the thing I always kept imagining. It's like, you're a... It's like... I would imagine he's a dude. I guess I don't really know, but yeah. it's like this is the why. I would always feel like I'm just like I'll bring all the fruits except for apples. It's like he would just slap <laughs> it out of my face or something. It's like it's like you trying to kill me? He's after me! <laughs> oh, I thought we were friends. Oh, no. I thought we were friends. <laughs> well, oh, the thing, the only thing he can say is just domo. So. Mm. It would be translated into that. He would yeah. yell Domo a bunch of times. Like, I'm sorry! I didn't mean it, Domo! Please don't hurt me! No! I love you, Domo! But uh, I think the other fun part of mythology is um, I put music into mythology, which uh, these guys, uh, they are named ICP. They're, they're real. It's just like the stuff I said, it's like, well, it's myth. It's because no one either believes in it or they think it's like, this is too crazy. We can't take this seriously. Two guys and clown me. I, I love them to this day. Oh, you mean the same clown posse? Yeah, yeah. it's just like two guys. <laughs> that, fandom, that, that fandom is still strong. Yeah, Damn. it's just um um the history of it was probably since ninety three. They didn't come up with the word until the next two years later, like by the time Andrew showed up. Mm-hmm. And that that fandom is still strong to this day. Jeez. And it's amazing. I, I, Okay, so it's, we, since we have our podcast, we got to lay down some ground rules. Okay. All right. Rule one, no politics. All right. Yeah. Let's we try we, not to be we political. See, and we've seen enough of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But if we nope. had to do some politics, keep it to like a short minimum or yeah. keep it jokey. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking That's that. That's good. Okay. That's rule good. two, nothing sexist or racist. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. That, that's, no. where that's, where yeah. that's where we get the controversial thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think rule three, 
kind of have your ideas on paper before, so we don't like drain. We don't drain this. Okay. Yeah. That's bad. That's all I can say. Like, kind of have your ideas on paper before we do this, so we yes. don't drain this. Okay. Yeah. And we but will not be cool. doing this daily, guys. Oh no. Oh, it not. could be like a. It could be like a like a one day thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like once one a week, week at least. Okay. Probably. I guess. That's at least what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> That's at least how I would approach it. Anything else, or is that all? Uh, it's that's like, about it. Just so the Shonen's <laughs> three rules, and <laughs> we be. are wrapping this up. Goodbye, everybody. My name is Eddie. My name is Sheik. Andrew. Guess for whatever. Bye. Bye. Windy, I guess. <laughs> I'll go with that. And that's you too. <laughs> this this I was gonna use for the podcast, everybody, but it broke off, so I'm just gonna have to use these regular ones right here. Mm. All right, let me see.